Hello and welcome everyone to the third section of the series. In this section we can finally put our hands on the Wireshark and start some real traffic capture. Also we will check the settings which can be applied before and after a traffic capture. Your first network traffic capture where we will be launching Wireshark and look through our first traffic capture. Now there are various options available to us when it comes to where to use Wireshark. Let us quick look through our existing scenario of a bank where the employee is complaining of slowness in using the core banking application. The simplest idea is to install Wireshark on the user PC. Another option is to use port mirroring. Now network engineers watching this video have an idea already what I'm talking about. But for others it will be maybe the first time they heard this term. The idea is basically mirroring all the user traffic going towards the PC to another computer. Let's say your laptop attached to another port of the switch. Here we will install Wireshark on the laptop. There may be many reasons for doing so. Maybe the user PC is not capable enough to run Wireshark. Or they might be short of time to set up the Wireshark on the user PC. These two are the most widely used options. Another option is where you bring a physical device known as a tap and you physically tap the traffic between the switch and the user PC. Let's go to Wireshark now. Here's the launch page of Wireshark. Now we need to select an interface to start capturing traffic. If you know your interface, very good. But if you're not sure about your interface, you might just wait for a while and you will see the active interface traffic graph being shown up. As you can see here, my active interface is the wireless network connection. There might be a possibility that you have multiple interfaces active at the same time. So here's what you can do. We can go to options. And here it will present us the capture interfaces. As you expand the interface, you can see the IP address. Here I have IPv6 and IPv4 IP addresses. You can select one or you can select multiple interfaces to start capturing at the same time. So let's select my interface, the active one, and click on start. So your Wireshark is now capturing live network traffic. That how simple is it to enable and start packet capture.